Hello everyone, welcome to the Cyber Ages platform. In this instructional video, I'm going to be taking you through the process of utilizing the Cyber Ranges VPN client to connect to the Cyber Ranges VPN. So you might be asking yourself, what is the difference between the VPN client and the VPN certificates that you're already accustomed to? Well, the VPN client was set up and developed to alleviate the process uh, of utilizing VPN certificates, more specifically open VPN certificates, in order to connect to the Cyber Ranges VPN. If you head over to your avatar on the top left and click on it, you can see that you have your open VPN certificate and then you have your open VPN or rather your VPN client. This is a custom built VPN client developed by Cyber Ranges and completely alleviates the need to, to download a VPN certificate and to connect uh, to the Cyber Ranges VPN via that VPN certificate. So all you need to do is download or click on the download VPN client button and you can specify a, the installer package based on your operating system. There are currently three platforms on offer in terms of supported packages. You have your Linux packages, which are further distributed or sorted based on the distribution release version and the distribution itself. For example, we have Arch Linux, CentOS, as well as Debian, Ubuntu, and a couple of others. You also have your Windows installer, as well as your Mac OS installer packages for both Silicon and Intel. We'll be taking a look at how to install the Windows VPN client shortly. To get started, firstly, we're going to be taking a look at how to install the VPN client on Kali Linux. The latest version of Kali Linux is running Debian 10 Buster. So specify the correct VPN client based on your distribution release version. In, in my case, I'm running Kali Linux, so I'll specify Debian 10 Buster. That'll open up a new tab where you'll be prompted to download the Debian package. I'll be taking you through the installation shortly. So I'm going to save this installer file or this Debian package, and it's going to take a couple of seconds. Once the package is done downloading, I'll navigate into my terminal and I'm currently within my downloads directory. So you can see I have the Cyber Ranges VPN client version 1.0. This is for Debian, Debian 10 Buster, uh, and this is a Debian package. Kali Linux is a distribution that's based on Debian. So how do we install Debian packages? We can install Debian packages using the Debian package management utility, which is uh, denoted or is also known as dpkg. And we can say sudo dpkg i for install. And then we say cyber ranges VPN client and we're specifying the package itself. So I'll hit enter and I'll just type in my password for the Kali user and it's going to install the Cyber Rangers client. This will take a couple of seconds, so give it, uh, give it a couple of seconds to complete. Once the Cyber Rangers VPN client package is installed, you can access it by opening up your application tray and searching for Cyber Rangers, and you should see that you have the Cyber Rangers VPN client right over here. Clicking on it, It'll take a couple of seconds to start up and you should be prompted with the following dialog box where the uh, the actual address or platform address is specified for you as cyberrangers.com. You do not need to change that. You can then specify your Cyber Rangers credentials. So if you've already registered for an account, uh, you just need to put in your username and password here. You can then specify whether you want to save your credentials so that whenever you, you actually launch the Cyber Rangers VPN client, your credentials are already auto-filled for you. Furthermore, you can also set this to auto-login. So whenever you start up the Cyber Rangers VPN client, it'll automatically log you in without having you enter your credentials again. So in my case, I've already specified my credentials and I can just hit login and we'll give that a couple of seconds. And you can see that it provides you with your account name and your, your actual connection status right over here. So it's currently saying I'm disconnected so if I want to connect to the Cyber Rangers VPN, I can just click on connect and I can then access all the scenarios. So let me click on connect and it's going to say connecting and I'm currently active for about eight seconds and there we are connected. So you can minimize this and you can actually see the advantage of this. I don't need to download a VPN certificate 
And if you have this set to automatically log on, you never have to touch a VPN certificate ever again. So I can navigate back to the CyberRanges platform and open up the library here of scenarios and I can launch another scenario. So for example, if I wanted to search for the damn vulnerable web application, I can do so and I can click on it. And let me start this up. And I'm just going to start that up and I'll give it a couple of seconds to initialize. After which you should see that uh, I will be able to access the target system within this particular scenario. All right, so once the scenario is initialized, I can click on start. And if I take a look at the servers page, you can see I have the target IP specified right over here. And I can just copy the IP and try and access it. So I'll just paste it in my browser here. And in this case, it's telling us that we have an issue. So I'm just going to get rid of the HTTPS and change that to HTTP. And this should redirect me to the damn vulnerable web application. After a couple of seconds, you can see I can access the damn vulnerable web application and I can now interact with the target system within this scenario. So let me actually take you through what will happen if I disconnect. So if I disconnect, I'm now disconnected from the CyberRanges VPN. And if I try and access the target system now, you can see that I'll not get a response and that's because I'm not connected to the CyberRanges VPN. Repeating the process once more, if I connect back to the CyberRanges VPN using the CyberRanges VPN client, I can now access the target systems within a particular scenario. So that is how to install and use the CyberRanges VPN client on Kali Linux. I'm now going to switch over to my Windows system and take you through the same process, but I'll be highlighting how it works for Windows. So let me switch over to my Windows system. All right, so I'm back on my Windows system. And again, I can access the VPN client download link by clicking on my profile or the avatar. I can then click on download VPN client. And because I'm running on Windows now, I can click on the Windows VPN client. There we are. So I'm going to save that file. It's about 70 megabytes. And I'm just going to wait for that to complete downloading. Once it's done downloading, I can just click on the setup file. And right over here, you might get this warning here. And that's because the application is not signed. So we can just run anyway. So there we are. I'm just going to go through the setup wizard. I'll accept the agreement and uh, it's going to install it under C program files 86 under cyber ranges VPN. So I'll click on next. I'm going to create a desktop shortcut next and install. This is going to take a couple of seconds. You will be prompted to install the actual adapter, the network adapter that again is published or developed by OpenVPN. So I'm just going to hit install. And that is going to complete the CyberRanges VPN client installation for Windows, after which we can initialize it and we can actually connect to the CyberRanges VPN. Once the installer is done, on my desktop, you can see we have CyberRanges. So I'll just click on that there. That's the Windows CyberRanges VPN client. And again, the process is exactly the same as it was on Linux. All you need to do is just specify your credentials to log into the CyberRanges platform. So I'll just specify my username and my password. And I can click on save credentials and I can also enable the auto login functionality. In this case, I'm not going to do that. I can then click on login. And again, I have the ability to connect to the CyberRanges VPN. So I'll just click on connect, but it says that I'm already connected. And that's primarily because I'm also connected to the CyberRanges VPN in my Kali Linux instance. So I'll just connect here. And there we are. I'm now connected and I can now access uh, the scenarios and the target systems within scenarios on the CyberRanges platform. So I can navigate uh, into my browser here and I already have the damn vulnerable web application already running. So I can click on that there and I can click on servers. And if I try and copy the IP and see if I can access it from my Windows system, I should be able to do that given that I, I am connected to the CyberRanges VPN. So I'll just open that up in my browser here and I'll give that a couple of seconds. After a couple of seconds, you can see that the damn vulnerable web application uh, is, is actually available to me. 
and I can access the target system. So I can click on that and you can see that redirects me to the damn vulnerable web application, which means that I can access uh, all the target systems within a specific scenario. In addition to that, I can fully navigate or utilize the internet if I want to. So let me just exit and terminate from this particular scenario. I can still go ahead and you know search for other scenarios or playlists for that matter that I would like to use. And again, all of this is uh, facilitated uh, through the actual CyberRangers VPN client.